Man, this weekend was a fight fan's dream. Across the board, MMA, UFC, boxing, whatever it is, we had it. And some of it was expected, some of it wasn't. We knew the UFC fight would be great between Donald Cowboy Cerrone and Justin Gaethje. The Tyson Fury fight, though, was a little bit different. This, this Tyson Fury fight was supposed to be a, a tune-up fight, something very easy, something to keep the muscles loose, keep the skills sharp until he fights Deontay Wilder in February. But that wasn't the case. This is fighting. This is why they fight. It's never a sure thing. As I'm sure you saw throughout all the weekend on social media, YouTube, wherever you consume your content, you saw the gash on Tyson Fury's right eyebrow. And in fact, it was two cuts, on one on his eyelid, one on the eyebrow from a nasty left hand from Otto Wallen, the Swede. And this cut is early in the fight, but Fury shows resilience, that championship pedigree, the, the championship hours, the rounds, the experience really paid off dividends for him in this fight. He got to show off that 6'9 frame, that big body wearing down, weighing down on the Swede. What Fury was able to do was turn it into a very physical match. This is a great time to Let's give a shout out to Tony Weeks, the referee in this match. Oh my God, was the boy working. Breaking up scuffles, breaking up clinches, which by the end of this thing, it was a full on clinch battle, rubber, Greco-Roman style fighting. But Tony Weeks did his job. He gave the fans what we wanted. He kept the fighter safety in mind. And, and this match, had controversy written all over it. And yet Tony Weeks was able to navigate his way with two brutal fighters and give the fans a really exciting fight. You just look at Tony Weeks' refing shirt and you knew that something was going on in this fight. Something that I was really impressed with and the, and the commentators brought it up a little bit here and there, but we know Tyson Fury can, can dance stay at a distance and pop the jab. We know he can do that. But man, when he gets on the inside and starts throwing those uppercuts in that body work at the inside, that's what was really impressive. I think that in addition with leaning and the wrestling that was going on in this, it really wore down on Otto Wallen. The cut man said that this was the worst cut he has ever worked on. And it sounds like Fury paid him back a little bit after the fight with a nice little cash bonus. So shout out to the cut man, because without him, this fight does not finish and we have a new heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson Fury did what he had to do. He showed off the experience, the body was still there, all the skills stayed sharp, dealt with adversity, and was able to persevere. So listen, we know that up next should be Deontay Wilder. We know that. They've been hinting at it. They've been promoting it that way. And I really want to get my hopes up. But with boxing, and if I know boxing the way I think I do, I'm just not going to buy in until I see those two square off face-to-face -face during the fight week at a press conference or at the scale. I'm not going to buy it.